Three different locations have been named as possible places to put thousands of illegal immigrant children coming to North Texas. Those children are scheduled to come to Dallas County later this month. And Natalie Solis is first on Fox News at the Oak Cliff Church where today's announcement was made. Natalie? Clarice and Steve, uh, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins was very clear to say that these are the three most viable options on the list that they have so far, but the vetting process is still ongoing. Uh, still, some groups are moving forward anyway with their plans, not wanting to waste a single day. The locations are Hulsey Middle School in the Redbird area of Dallas, closed the last two to three years. Lamar School in Grand Prairie, just south of I-30 between Beltline and MacArthur, and a Parkland Hospital building near the main campus in Dallas. Jenkins says the buildings are well suited as shelters because of capacity to house kids. They have cafeterias, exercise facilities, places for kids to play, and good security. I hope as we deal with the community and we move forward, that um, the community will keep in mind that this is about compassion to children and um, that here in North Texas, we don't turn our back on children. Now begins the process of holding community meetings near the proposed sites, hearing all sides and concerns. Hygiene packs now. Some groups moving okay. forward despite the lack of hard answers. All hands on deck at Southwest Community Mall this morning, the wheels in motion for a donation drive. Churches, community groups uniting to collect items for care and hygiene packs, even cards made by local kids. I want something from us to say we love you, we appreciate you. They'll say, wow, that's amazing. The packs will be distributed to the 2,000 kids coming from overcrowded, overburdened border facilities. For this group, it's not about politics, but people. It's a human need and it's a human right that we need to address. Uh, we wouldn't want our own children to be in that type of situation. If this is a political move, then I am the stupidest politician in Texas. Um, you know, we're the first community in this nation that has reached out to the federal government. And it is still unclear exactly when this vetting process will be finalized and when the feds will sign off on those shelter locations. Uh, but Jenkins did say that community response during the upcoming meetings will definitely play a big role in the vetting process. Clarice. And community response, we've been asking all week, Natalie, about security arrangements whenever the children do end up here. Any information given to mm -hmm. you today about that? Well, there was a meeting here today uh, for elected officials as well as law enforcement. It was a closed door meeting. We were not allow in, allowed inside. Uh, so unfortunately, I can't tell you what was discussed. When they came out, the topic did come up. We weren't given any details, uh, but plans for security, um, I understand, are something that, that is ongoing. Of course, there is still a lot of information that they are trying to get finalized. I did ask the judge if he was concerned about a situation like what happened in California, where buses were blocked by protesters, and his response was reiterating there that he uh, hoped that North Texans would not turn their backs on children. Clarice. Good work, Natalie. We'll keep digging for those answers. Here's Natalie Salis live in Oak Cliff. Thanks. Governor Rick Perry is pushing for the United States to deport the immigrant children quickly to avoid encouraging more to make the journey. Perry testified during a field hearing in McAllen in front of the House Committee on Homeland Security. The governor says changes in immigration policy and border security are to blame for the flood of undocumented children. In his testimony, Perry called for President Obama to send the National Guard and more federal money to secure the border. Invest sufficient resources to put an adequate number of uh, Border Patrol agents on the ground permanently, um, utilize existing technology, including drones and other uh, assets that we know. We know how to do this. Perry also called for the president to reimburse Texas for the $500 million the state has spent on border security. The White House responded to Perry's comment saying, those criticizing the president are playing politics and not solving the problem. If they were committed to solving the problem, uh, uh, you know, for example, in the case of the Texas governor, uh, he could probably be pretty useful. I hear he's a pretty persuasive fellow. Uh, that he could call, he could pick up the phone and call some of those Republican members uh, of Congress from Texas who are standing four square against common sense immigration reform. 34,000 unaccompanied children have been detained crossing the border into Texas this year.